Hi, welcome to SBS Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. This is Mike Brenner, and this is the NLB, uh, NBA Odds Couple Show for uh, Thursday, June 16th, Game 6 Oof. of Golden State Cleveland. We didn't think we were going to make in this video, did we, Mike Brenner? Well, not, not really, you know. Not really. But, but Pistol win. Pete, you know, a couple weeks ago, I thought this would be the game where this video would be cashing a, a, a Game 6 winner mm. for the Cavaliers. But they still have a chance to get the whole thing done. It just won't All be right. at 6. So here we are in Game 6. The line we have Cleveland minus 2, although the Greek has 2.5. Total is 207 or 207.5. 207 the first half line Oof. is minus 1.5. And, a half, and the, uh, the full first half total is 104.5. Chris Book's hanging 105. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Bogut's out. Uh, a Draymond lot of factors. Back. I, yeah. yeah. I, I talked to a guy here, and he thinks Bogut out's no big deal at mm -hmm. all, that, you know, whatever. So that's sure. his thought. But I think that might be felt a little bit more than people think. But you know how, and I was telling, you know, our producer, Dennis, I was telling him, he, he knows about I like getting in the psychological, mm -hmm. you know, heads. You know what? I found out why they destroyed that team last time. I didn't why? hear about this quote until after. Okay. All right. When he had that big problem with Draymond Green, mm -hmm. LBJ, all right, and Green called him a bitch. Mm -hmm. All right, what happened was – Clay Thompson, who usually doesn't get involved verbally, said, well, this is a man's league. I guess he got his feelings hurt. Well, mm. that man's league the next night turned into men versus fucking boys, excuse mm. my language, because yeah. that's what he made them look like. So I don't know. Has that subsided? I don't think so. I think tonight they're going to get it handed to him, Pistol Pete. Yeah, you, the, the Warriors. Mean. Of course. I, I don't think. What do they got that they can come in there and destroy them like that? No, no. I have an interesting Here I go again. But Yeah, and, you know, we talk about, uh, we talk about uh, you know, uh, is the NBA fixed? Is the NBA yeah, highly know. debated uh, topic? Is it fixed? Well, and does anybody else out there like LBJ? I think I'm the only one on the planet that likes LeBron James. I'm not kidding. <laughs> anybody, everybody I talk to hates this guy. If it's if if the refs are going to fix it tonight, uh, Scott Foster is one of the reps, and he has been voted the worst ref in the game. He also does yeah. seem to have who, something. Who did they poll that one to? I don't know, but uh, it's just uh, and, and yeah. he he also does appear to have something uh, voted somewhat the worst against uh, Golden State. The Warriors are 26 and four in the playoffs the last two years when Foster's not officiating, when Foster is one of the refs, five and four. Guess what? Playoffs. It's over tonight, then. Golden State doesn't have a damn chance. Pistol Pete pulling inside information from the locker room. I love it. Yeah, that was sent to me by one of our fans, Kenny Semmelsberger. Kenny, you go, buddy. I like it. Foster, I like five. It. When Foster voted yeah. the worst official in the game and does seem to have something against uh, against Golden State, uh, you know, so it seems to be, look, all yeah, signs to be pointing seems to be pointing towards well, the Cleveland. And again, I, and I appreciate that because yeah. I like that. We've been back and forth, back and forth, all of us, Jordan Sharp included, going, wait a minute, when is this trend or the path going to – all right, here we go. Now, they come into Cleveland. Can yeah. they do – to Cleveland, what Cleveland did to them. Because after that first quarter, that game got out of hand right. quick, and it was never even close from then on. Not even close. All right? How does that team come into Cleveland with all this momentum? Irving and, and LeBron James had the best game that a duo can have, better than the other two have had whatsoever in this playoff series. Pete? Well, they and bounce yeah. back. Well, because they bounce back in game four. They bounce the back. The guy weighs 125 pounds soaking wet. This yeah. body has got to be wearing down on, on, on uh, Steph Curry. And well, I how, love the guy. How are they able to bounce back in game four? I don't know. Loss? I don't know. Right, right, right. Can they do it again? What do you think? They can. What are the percentages? My guess, and I'm certainly, uh, you know, uh, not sure about this. My guess is Cleveland gets the win. Do they did, cover did, two? Did this sway you at all? Uh, it Honestly. did a little bit. It did a little okay. bit. Sure, 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 of course, of course, because uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, refing certainly matters. And Golden State, if they realize the refs are maybe a little bit against them, say, all right, let's let's go with the refs, giving this game and then huge win it, disparity win it in seven refs. At home. Yeah. Five and four compared to twenty-five and four. Or yeah, something. in the yeah. playoffs. All right. So, Mike Brenner, what do you think? Are you going to well, make a pick and, on this and game? And again, this isn't a knock on Golden State. I love that yeah. team. They're warriors. They're yeah. absolutely warriors. That name fits them well. Bottom line, though, I just th th so much happened momentum-wise last game. Why can it happen again? They go back home flat like they did last time? I don't sure. think so, Pistol Pete. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm all over them. I got them on the quarter minus a half. Mm -hmm. I got them on the first half minus one and a half. I got them on the game minus two, and I don't think this thing's under ten. All right. That I don't. makes sense to me, Mike Brenner, and I'm going to uh, give the first half under. Once again, uh, the Chris books are hanging 105. I see this, uh, regardless of what the refs do, should be a pretty, a pretty deliberate uh, defense-oriented, intense game. At least in the first half, I know Game Three was—I'm yeah. uh, I'm sorry, Game uh, and, and Game Five was super, was super high scoring. But okay. 
I think that uh, the game, the fourth quarter was actually when it really slowed down, and, and I think that carryovers here a little bit into the first half, and I will once again give a first half underpick. Uh, 105, total went down to 103.5, uh, yeah. you know, recently, and now, now the markets are back up to hanging at 105, 105 and a half, and I will give under 105 first half as my official pick for a game six. I like that. I got to ask you this, Pete, mm -hmm. all right? You know, a lot, in any sport, you see guys that are unbelievable during the season, and then when yeah. it comes to the big sure. stuff, they can't win it, sure. okay? And I'm not putting Curry there, but last year in the series, he wasn't the reason mm -hmm. they won it. Was he a factor? Right. Yes, he definitely was. He was a huge factor getting them there. This year, it's the same pattern. The guys had pretty much one decent game in this finals, all right? He shot 38% last game. That's not MVP material to right. me. Right. Four turnovers, all right? right? Can he turn it around in Cleveland? This guy's got to be getting tired, and right now the focus, because LeBron James just literally silently, mentally whooped his ass last mm -hmm. game. Can he come into Cleveland, and can he mentally get the edge against LeBron James? I, I need an honest opinion. And he sure is. He likely to? Probably not. Okay. Probably That's not. What I want, and I'm anxious to hear Jordan's. Uh, yeah, let's on go that to Jordan well. Sharp. Jordan Sharp with tense situation right now in the playoffs. We're all debating what's likely to happen in Game Six. What do you think, Jordan Sharp? Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a, a game for the ages, I think. We, we thought we'd kind of see some of that in game number five. Cavs pretty pretty much took advantage of the game. Draymond Green being out was a huge factor. Now he's back. So I think we're going to see probably one of the better games, if not the best games of these finals here tonight. I, I am very excited to see who steps up. And uh, I think you could probably definitely find some prop betting value here because, once again, Warriors faced with an injury. Andrew Bogut's out. You know, Mike said it. I don't think it's going to matter too much, but should open up some value for the uh, this Warriors team potentially. All right, Mike Brenner, what uh, what prop plays would Mike you recommend? Mike Brenner, now you're calling oh, him. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no. Drake, <laughs> sorry. Drake, on the job again. <laughs> All right, uh, Jordan Sharp, what uh, what prop plays would yeah. you recommend for us tonight for Game 6? So with Bogut out, you got a question of what the, uh, once again, what the Warriors are going to do with their starting lineup. Are they just going to go small again, put Igudala back in the starting lineup? Yes. He had a huge game for us in game number five, cashed the over in his prop, I think, at, by halftime. So, I mean, that was easy money for us in game number five. Is it going to be the same in game six? Wow. I, I don't see why not. I mean, I, I think the Warriors' best lineup is that small ball lineup, and then yeah. they can go switch back and forth with Livingston coming in as well off the bench. I mean, they don't really need to play a big man here, even in Cleveland. And I think the biggest question, is whether or not they're going to speed up the pace a little bit or not. The Cavs tend to slow down, play a little bit better defense at home, whereas the Warriors tend to speed up their pace and play a little faster with a little less defense. So I, I think there is there is some value on some of these Golden State guys. I, I, I got burned by Harrison Barnes. I, I kind of want to go back to him, though, because I don't think he can shoot that bad again. So I think Barnes, Igudala, a guy like potentially Clay Thompson again, who could have another huge night. But mm. uh, I think the guy you got to look at here definitely outside of uh, Igudala is Draymond Green. I mean, he, he is probably, uh, what, for lack of a better term, pissed off. And I think he's going to come out and have a very huge game. If the Warriors do win this game, which I don't know if they're going to, but they're going to get close to even if they don't. And he is going to have a huge game. I expect a uh, close to, if not a triple-double for Draymond Green here tonight. With that being said, I got to I got to touch on this, and I'd be remiss not to bring it up because I think absolutely the way you just broke that down was perfect. Can that happen? I, I don't know. Tonight, I think's the night that Draymond Green is so hated in Cleveland. All right, <laughs> he's coming back. Yeah, he's pissed off. But guess what? If they were on their home floor with him coming back. I think all of that would come into total fruition. It's true. Can it still? Absolutely. But now they're on the road. He's going into the most hostile environment tonight because Golden State fans mailed it in last game uh, midway through the second quarter. I got news for you, and I said it to Pete on the video. I was very disappointed in that fan base. I don't mm -hmm. think Cleveland's fan base is going to be anywhere near that. I think they're going to really step up today. So I don't know about Green's production. I'm going to watch it closely. Now, the other thing, I don't know if you guys heard about it. There's actually a, a fan out there has season tickets that started to go fund me account to raise Kevin Love's whole year salary to pay him to sit on the bench tonight and please don't play. Have you guys heard about that? What do you think? Yes. What does Tyron Lue do with Kevin Love? Because for real, that chemistry better be put together the right way tonight if they want to whoop this Golden State Warrior ass. Yeah, he, he was uh, surprisingly plus 18 in the plus minus in game number five, despite only scoring two points. I really don't know how that happened uh, because he also had four fouls. So, I, you know, it, it's just mind blowing to me how bad he's playing. I, I think the I think there's some Cavs fans wanting to go back and revisit that Andrew Wiggins and Kevin Love trade here. Ooh. But uh, I, I think at home. He plays a little better. You mentioned Draymond. You know, he's the type of guy that feeds off the crowd. But he also, he also shot better on the road during the regular season, sure. too. I just had to mention that. But Love, I mean, it, you, you, you said it. If, if the Cavs, if they're going to cash you tickets tonight, Kevin Love is going to need to show up because I don't think the Warriors are going to let both Kyrie and LeBron 
get 40 points tonight. I think they're no. going to play a little, Steph Curry off of Kyrie a little bit more, put Sean Livingston in the game with that small lineup, or put Clay Thompson on Kyrie Irving, which we've seen them do at times in this series as well. So they're, they they got to slow down one of those guys because, like you said, Kevin Love has been absolutely nowhere to be found this series, and he's going to have to have a huge game if they want to win tonight, or uh, this series is going to be over tonight, fellas. I hate to say it because I don't think it's going to go down like it went in game five again mm. with LeBron and Kyrie. Woo! Sounds like wow. Jordan Sharp is leaning uh, a little bit more towards Golden State than yeah. And the cat. Does. Is that it right, does. Jordan? I uh, I I would I, I think you, you'll you'll see in my game prop picks coming out later today, but I might be doing an alternate point spread play on uh, the on the Golden State Warriors here tonight. You can get them right now at uh, you know like maybe minus one, minus two, at almost two to one up there at minus four at a four and a half. So uh, oh, I think it's very very good value considering that they played almost as badly as they could over two of the last three games, and uh, they still were within you know it didn't get blown out in, in game five. They, they you know they had a bad fourth quarter, but I think if they can remedy that here tonight, they have shown they can win on the road. I think they speed up the pace. Uh, I think we potentially see the uh, series going over here tonight. Wow, I like it. I can't wait for this thing to get started, Jordan, for all right, real. Well, we got our picks. It's yes. all done. Mike Renner's on the Cavs. Full game, first quarter, first half. Yes. And I'm on the first half under. We'll see how it turns out. If the Cavs get a win, we will be back for game seven. Yes, we will. Go Cavaliers. Always on the go? Bet365 has one of the top mobile platforms in today's market. Sign up today. And don't let your busy life keep you out of the game.